Okay, about the rising of Atlantis, like if you decide to accumulate energy and create something big very fast, it's gonna have certain consequences. For example, in the, in the past they misused technology, it had like ripped open some dimensional fields that uh, were supposed to be closed. So this time they make sure that uh, it's gonna be closed. And this is why I'm also here to help you with the emotions. Mm. But uh, I want to make this a little bit more free form, and this is Drunvalas, uh, uh, the Mayan Ouroboros, uh, page 32. <sighs> okay, the Earth axis is moving in an ellipse uh, that wobbles. Mm, the one wobble it takes uh, almost 26,000 years and the estimate of this precession of the equinox length is uh, one cycle is perhaps getting more and more accurate but it seems that the ancient Maya have a more perfect calendar based upon the movements of the cosmic bodies the modern science are okay there are all kind of um, extra terrestrial races and each of them has their own feeling uh, and sense of time according to their mission and according to their feeling body. For me, mm, I have the like timing codes inside me. Like I've been like asked, uh, how do I know the time? How do I, like what's my orientation? How how I'm supposed to be like at the right time at the right place? Well, uh, for example, if you do yoga and if you go to the deep levels. Uh, you're gonna experience uh, like this uh, timing uh, where you you're like very feeling based you're gonna go where you need to go because uh, this is a right because the more you you are the more uh, truly uh, unique uh, character you are if you do yoga if you do your perfect work mm, you're gonna also have like better timing according to your own feeling and you're gonna meet people exactly when you need to meet them because you're present to, to yourself, uh, this is like I think it's from Alan Watts also. Uh, so, so the precision of the equinox is also always changing because of something called the Milkovich uh, cycles. Uh, the cycles are the summation of all our cycles, and other, like there, there are many forces making different measures. Mm, there are also like if you, for example, if you take the Atlantis crash, uh, you, you could see the energy going towards diff through different planes. Mm. So it kind of ac affected the beings uh, from throughout uh, the universe, uh, from from many galaxies. And so let's say uh, there is a very sharp emotion like going towards a different galaxy, like uh, let's say a huge bang or a catastrophe. Or then one sharp of this energy is going towards outer galaxies and this, this energy is uh, gonna have different vibes and then the, there's another bang and you know it's going towards other galaxies and so so um, to actually reintegrate in a non-harmful way uh, there, there need to be like forces who are capable of handling these energies in a natural way and make sure that it doesn't end up uh, destroying the population I hope this helps a little bit. What I'm doing, I'm actually attempting to explain this Mayan Noroboros and this uh, Equinox and this scientific stuff to a, uh, to a small girl, basically, so that small girls would also understand about this. But it's, it's not so easy, we need more galactic harmonious levels. Aha, uh -huh, it says uh, this Milankovic cycle, they have mostly focused, it has mostly focused on the effects of the Earth's climate. To study Earth's climate, one needs to know these cycles as well as the sun solar cycles. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I understand a little bit why there are so many scientists here, they're very interested in um, in the consequences of this crash of uh, Atlantis or this accumulation of energy that uh, did this outburst. And they're studying different aspects, it's like a perfect field, it's a unique approach, it's a very different uh, things that you can measure, so it's, it's completely okay, I think it's a good scientific area actually to do your studies. This, okay, it's about uh, the moon cycles, which also have the human emotions, 
Okay, biological life patterns. Again, he, he talks about now about uh, also the menstrual patterns, which I know nothing about because I'm a male incarnation, female patterns. Uh, but about the moon and emotions, uh, yes, uh, if you're, you know, if you're in an era of transition, you need to uh, also go through with the emotional bodies. You can't like. Uh, if you want to enter or jump into the next area, next era, uh, and you you decide that I don't need these emotions at all because they're painful, uh, you basically damage uh, the most youthful aspect of you uh, because emotions are still one thing that they are the key to your soul. Uh, so if you decide, hey, we're gonna do these transitions, we only take mental patterns and sexual energetic levels, but uh, from chakras to throat. Uh, six to four we're gonna leave it out three we're gonna leave the feelings out and then you're gonna make the jump it's gonna be horrible because you you would have no feeling body and the beings who are in these areas and welcoming you they're like operating and processing and like they're feeling these guys who are coming and these guys are, seem like crazy mad man because they have no feeling reactions no feeling body uh, indigenous tribes and uh, for me at least uh, amazonas rainforest you know kind of jungle tribes and they would feel the strangers first through like like who how these people feel us like and if you have no feeling body you're not gonna respond and you're like you seem like a crazy madman who's following a stupid mental patterns but the, the, it's not that hard to solve uh, you need to actually accept and honestly reface your feelings but to, to do this it would be have been way too painful to re-embrace the events uh, collectively and so so we had this high level special task forces uh, who, who reintegrate the, the events uh, emotional body to the fifth to the third very fast Otherwise, it would have been like uh, the feminine have, would have been very chaotic, horrible. Like it was already really horrible. I personally, I couldn't understand anything what the feminine was doing. The dark mysteries. They didn't want to tell anything. They were uh, full of secrets um, and moving uh, randomly, very fast, uh, but in a very intelligent way. So, but I was like, okay, whatever's going to happen, I'm gonna, uh, you know, take it <laughs> as it is. I'm gonna make the best decisions I can. I'm gonna do what uh, was my true purpose. Uh, we call it the highest life for our highest good, and and uh, you take it uh, the best we can and resolve the pain as fast as we could. So this is about the emotional crash, uh, emotions of the Atlantis crash. Here it also says these cycles are key to everything, the moon and uh, recording the emotions also, if you can call it such. Now we can see that there are many cycles within the movements of the earth. Uh -huh, the earth is also alive, um, as you probably already know. Mm. Mm. If you if you're not connected uh, to the earth uh, in tough times and you want to do an important work, uh, it's very hard because you're gonna simply because you're gonna make it unbalanced and to be really balanced, uh, you also need a direct uh, connection with the heart of the earth. And for for this, uh, for example, if you're like in barefoot in the forest, uh, you have an extremely good uh, connection to the forest and to the heart of the earth and if you're for example eating the fruits are like uh, fresh things that grow and then you catch it by yourself then you have incredibly good food uh, connection also to the heart and the earth so and also if you have feeling but that's uh, uh, already used to attune itself uh, to the heart of the earth and then it's uh, even easier because then the timing will be perfect and it will be in tune with the earth and what i did i tuned the timing of the earth towards uh, the timing of my home galaxy so that the, the walking cycles and everything would be perfectly in balance and i attempted to keep it as simple as possible i walk a lot in these times it's good to be very grounded to keep it very simple for example if there's like high level beings that can manifest their bodies and everything they can you know, telekinetic, whatever, they can, you know, 
and there are strict rules but you know they can basically do, do some some really high level things that I'm not capable of then it's very good to keep it uh, very simple and to walk a lot like a uh, like few kilometers uh, at when there was a heavy action energetic action happening uh, I used to walk a lot barefoot to keep it very simple uh, to keep it like um, I'm in touch with the nature I'm in touch with, I have good connection with my body I'm fully grounded I'm after the food you know, it's, it's like uh, like animal in the forest, which is like a very natural state on this planet. Then it's a small pause here. <laughs>